Tutoring session limits are available to upswing admins and they're designed to create limits for your students' tutoring sessions. So to navigate to this setting, we're gonna start here at tutoring and under select tutoring view, I'm just going to go to tutoring settings. With session limits, we have two sections, one for your tutors and then one with the exact same settings down below for upswing tutors. If your institution doesn't use any upswing tutoring hours, then that section won't appear. So let's go through each setting. First, you can limit the number of days in advance that a student can schedule, schedule a tutoring session. And we found that if students book a session more than two weeks in advance, they're less likely to attend that session. So we recommend a time frame of about 14 days. Next, you can limit the number of weekly tutoring hours for a student. Here, it's currently set to three hours, and you can toggle that number up or down. And with any change you make, remember at the bottom to save your changes. The next setting is the number of monthly tutoring hours for students. So instead of regulating by week, if you wanted to focus on the number of tutoring hours by month, you would check this box instead, and you would say, if it's three hours per week, maybe you're shooting for 12 hours per month. The final setting is a time setting. So maybe I just want to set a time where students have fewer or more hours available to them within that specific time frame. So maybe right around midterms into finals, I want to say students get only six hours during this time. Maybe the idea is to spread out the tutoring hours more equitably among all your students. So those are all the settings you can place and you don't have to have any, but you can have a mix and match just to get those settings the way you want them. And this is handy in case you have something coming up and you don't want to forget and you want to put those time brackets in place. The student limits with upswing tutors are almost exactly the same with one exception. So you still have the ability to limit how far in advance, how many weekly tutoring hours, that's tutoring hours and not sessions, limit the number of monthly tutoring hours and also that time frame. But the one thing that we also have for upswing tutors, if you use them, is this concept of session duration options. When a student goes in, searches, finds a tutor and goes to set an appointment with that tutor, they're gonna get a drop down box of the session duration. So how long do they think that session should be? And this is where you can set two things. This is gonna populate the drop down options the student sees. So right now, everything that's checked shows up over here as an option for the student. But if they make no changes to that session duration at all, it's always going to default to 30 minutes. And you can change that here to any one of these options. If you make a change, just remember to click save your changes. Now, sometimes it's necessary to have an exception to the rules. So you can see I have one student here, Conrad Young, that instead of the three hours above, he's going to get 240 or four hours. It has an expiration date, which I put in, and it has a reason, which is optional. So you can add new exemptions by populating the same exact fields. You'll want the student name, the number of minutes you want them to have, the expiration date, if any, and the reason, if any. So this could be for student athletes, for students with disabilities, for students that have very rigorous academic course loads, anyone you want to make an exception to the above number of minutes they can have in tutoring, you simply add a new exception. And if you want to export this data at any time, you can give the export a name here and simply click export. And that's it. That's how session limits work in upswing.